Tonight, we're learning new information from the U.S. Secret Service about the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump on July 13th. Sherelle Hubbard has you covered. Look at what happened. Oh. July 13th, 2024. It's the day an attempt was made on former President Donald Trump's life. This was a mission failure. A failure they say can never be repeated. 20-year-old would-be assassin Thomas Matthew Crooks trying to shoot and kill the former president from a rooftop. That roof line should have been covered. We should have had better eyes on that. Ronald Rowe is the acting U.S. Secret Service director. Former Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle was initially defiant just a week after the attack at a hearing before the House Oversight Committee. My first question, both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter, yes or no? No, thank you. But ultimately did resign amid pressure from lawmakers. The shooting left one rally goer dead, others injured, and Trump's ear hit his bandaged ear, becoming a symbol of inspiration for his supporters. Friday's press conference did not come with many new revelations about the assassination attempt, but rather an olive branch to the American people. Every single person within the Secret Service feels the weight of what happened. In hopes of turning a new page. And we will earn back your trust. The acting director said the Secret Service is gearing up for the Democratic National Convention later this month. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting. The acting Secret Service director says the agency will not provide real-time updates of any potential discipline of agency employees for security failures related to the attack.